How many people came to KubeCon to check email? So I'm going to ask you not to check email during the talks because we've curated some phenomenal speakers for you. And this event's origins come from the fact that in the CNCF, there are a ton of open source projects and a ton of founders who have attempted to turn those open source projects into businesses, some successful, but many have failed. And so the origin of this event is to just give you that advice around from the founders themselves who've lived this, have been on this journey. Uh, I myself am retired from places like Google. I've worked at lots of these startups, but the last two years, I've been spending a lot of time deeply advising these founders, some of these VC portfolios. And I think one thing that, I think the theme you'll probably hear today is that the sad truth is, and it's probably a good truth if you understand the assignment, these companies are built to make money first. If you want to build an open source project and give it away and work on the weekends like I have as a maintainer and you're just fixing issues for free, that is always a possibility. You do not need to raise VC money to do that, right? And there's a certain part of the world where we need people to continue to build those libraries, but that doesn't mean you have to have stickers and t-shirts <laughs> for your open source project. There's a whole category of business that we wanna to talk to today. So if you've seen the agenda, I think you're going to be really pleased with the level of insight you're going to get from people living this. And we leave plenty of time for Q&A here. The very first time I did one of these startup events, it was a three-hour workshop with like 350 people. And all we did was QA just to talk about the nuance of thriving in the software business, especially when the cornerstone is open source. And there's something unique about this particular set of entrepreneurs. We are really passionate about the things that we're building. And I got a feeling that many of the founders sitting out here in the audience today, you would probably be doing this work whether money was involved or not. And so we just got to figure out how to close that gap between these passion projects and sustainable businesses. So we've got founders today, we have venture capitalists today, and we've curated a set of venture capitalists who really understand what it means to partner with founders. There are capitalists who cut checks and expect the big return. We have venture capitalists who manage money like real estate portfolios. And then we have venture capitalists who actually get it. They know that it's going to take you time to get to the product market that you want, but they know that there's also a business that you need to build. So do not be shy today, okay? That's the assignment. Pay attention, lock in, and ask the questions you wanna ask, and there is no question too simple. Some of y'all need therapy. <laughs> We're not gonna be covering that in this session. But feel free to talk about your business, and if the more transparent you are, the more transparent answers you will get, okay? Now, we're gonna do something special this year. Uh, we're going to kick off with the fireside chat with me and my co-chair, Megan. Megan, welcome to the stage. I'll let you introduce yourself. 